Holy You've Holy never Spirit. traveled this road Lord. before. You are now in the school of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. adornment sanctuary we are so delighted it's peaceful it's calm and we are enjoying this talk on living living series with sister tandiwe from south africa she's such a lovely lady you know she's calm she's peaceful she's beautiful inside out she's such a storyteller i'm really enjoying her company sister tandiwe wouldn't you want to move here yes so, yeah well, hi, hi, hallelujah you hear i that? like the weather here excellent excellent it gets very cold down south huh? yes yes like right now where yeah. i live in Grahamstown, yes and cape town it's yes. very cold you see so, so i enjoy weather like this amen. my body thrives yeah. in this. amen yeah. god is good yeah, yeah she's, she's she's such a, a darling mm. so we are talking about uh doing purpose you know living what god said to me that uh, living is a doing your purpose to mm. glorify God because God created us for himself and we are his people and so as we live we are supposed to live in his purpose for our lives for what he created us to do bringing him glory in the process just like the scripture in John chapter 17 tells us John chapter 17 and verse 4 says that uh, um well oh yes I have glorified you on the earth I have finished the work which you have given me to do Jesus was addressing God his father he had glorified him because he accomplished that which God created him to do. We all know what it was. Here is Sister Tandiwe. She's just leading us to, to reveal to us whether she's living in her purpose, God's purpose for her life or not. Because when you are not doing your purpose on earth, you are just passing by. You are just surviving. You are just wasting time on this earth. So Sister Tandiwe, now this, uh, you feel like you should go with this pastor and his wife. Mm. And people are uh, persecuting you, mm. you know, bringing out, telling you things you shouldn't do. Mm. Isn't that just how people behave? We want to, to, to correct people. We want to, and we never know what uh, vision God has given somebody or what mm. God is speaking to them at that particular time. Mm. Mm. Yes. Yes. So I was with this person now. Yes. Then he decides to go with me yes. to one of the, of the branches he had. Mm -hmm. And we arrived there on Saturday mm -hmm. afternoon. Yes. And then we slept mm -hmm. and it happened because this was just a home, mm -hmm. not no church building. No. One of the members of the church, we arrived, we, we, we were at her house. Yes. And now um, I slept in one of the, of the, of, of, of the houses there. Yeah. Yes. And at night I was the only one sleeping there. Mm -hmm. And at night, the whole night, mm -hmm. this voice said to me, my church is fast asleep. Mm -hmm. The whole night I cried the whole night. Mm -hmm. I'm asking God, if you say the church is fast asleep, what must I tell them? What is the solution? Yes. So it's like, and then I don't, of course, I don't get the answer. What I must say, mm. I cried the whole night and the following day, I could not even go to church. Yes. I was still crying. Yes. It was like in my stomach, I, everything was just, you know, torn apart. Yeah. Mm. And then anyway, mm. I, early in the morning, I went to tell them, of course, he didn't give me the right answer. He yes. just, they just prayed with mm. me. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and at that time, as I say, I was much into crusades. He's going, I'm going with him in crusades yes. and all that and all that. Yes. But funny now, mm. after this voice, if we go to a crusade, mm -hmm. I wasn't happy now to like to, to preach mm -hmm. like an evangelist. Mm -hmm. It was more like now I'm comfortable in church. I will get a message in church. I will mm -hmm. be given a message mm -hmm. in church. And sometimes I will be looking at somebody and then I will want to minister to that particular mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Like no longer now what I used to do, like preaching yes. in buses. Yeah. But it's it's amazing that, you know, God will use me in preaching, yes. in, 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 in teaching, yes. in, in whatever. In short, you're you know, apostle. like ministry yes. unto mm. the Lord mm. now. The, yeah. Yes. And, uh, and another thing that, you know, that happened at that time. Mm. After, if maybe I, I, I had shared a word. 
the the pastor would allow me to go and sit in one of the of the of the rooms yes and people will come um, uh -huh. with their burdens wow and then i don't know how i used to cancel them but yes. i would cancel them and then oh, like good. people who were backslidden mm. they will come back to the lord yes wow yes <coughs> hallelujah yes yeah so from there now my pastor in cape town mm -hmm. doesn't understand what i'm doing and he's spreading all these news that you know i'm I'm, I've just gone out with this, and it was the same church. I mean, the, you belong to the same church yes, with this yes, pastor. Yeah. And now he's telling everybody that, you know, now I've deserted the church. He doesn't know what I'm doing. And of course, you somehow or other, you hear what is yes, being said. Of course, of course. The and, then, yeah. and now being me now, wanting to please everybody, yeah. wanting... Yes. No, no, no don't, not wanting to hurt anybody. Yes, yes. So now I say to this pastor, I want to go back to Cape Town and oh tell goodness, the pastor yes, that yes. this is what the Lord showed me. No, it was not even about you. What you need to know, Sister Tandy, is that I've realized also when I came to the Lord, I thought that people would embrace me, the Christians, the servants. Mm. But I find I found the opposite. Mm. Many people are threatened by other people's successes. Mm. And many people assume that when God has given you a ministry like now you, mm. it's, it's evident that you have the fivefold ministry in you, the, the apostles. Yes, yes. Some people feel threatened. because mm. they were, And I, it's so sad because you can't do everything. And mm. each person is called according to what God wants them to do. Mm. And even if God allowed you to be everything, I mean, you, you can't. Mm. So it is so sad that uh, even ministers of the gospel then feel jealous. Mm. about the upcoming oh, especially yes. people yes. and they want to try kind of uh, suppress mm. them yes. it is so sad because we are serving one god mm. that was supposed to be happening mm. yes now you are feeling mm. you feel perturbed and you feel like you should go and explain mm. yeah mm. and uh, then okay this other pastor now releases me mm. you know with his blessing yes. but they were grieved yes and uh, anyway i go back to cape town yeah i call the pastor and his wife and uh, there were also some few ladies there mm. i explained mm. what i heard from mm. the lord yeah. like you know the church is fast asleep mm. of course that 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 was even worse yes. for me mm. now to mm -hmm. think that you know the church where i grew up you know now mm -hmm. it's like yeah. they're yeah. not they're doing asleep, anything yeah. they're following the lord has left it was even mm. more persecution oh dear and now while i was there mm. I met someone, mm -hmm. uh, just a guy, when I come from church, I get off in Clermont, and then this guy was just following me. Mm -hmm. It was in the evening. Yes. I'm going back to work yes. that day. Yeah. So we, it, it happened that we spoke, mm -hmm. and then as we spoke, I, 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 I shared the gospel to mm -hmm. him, mm -hmm. and he was sort of like a much older uh, uh, brother. Yeah. 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 And I shared the gospel. Mm -hmm. He accepted Jesus. Wow. I even took him to my room. Yes. And then I, I prayed for yes, him. Yes. And then he went. He was sort of, he was working around uh -huh. that place. And uh, I remember the following few, following few days, yeah. I saw him again. And I caught him smoking. So it was, and shame, he tried to hide oh, the oh. cigarette. I said, no, 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 yes. don't worry. Yeah. Don't worry. So, and I made him comfortable. I tell you that made something in his heart. Wow. That I wasn't harsh to it him. Made, and made it judgmental. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, I wasn't judgmental. Yes. And then he became a strong Christian. Wow. So now, mm. at this time now that I went away and then I came back mm -hmm. and I, I met him. So mm. now he was fellowshipping yes. in church. Yes. And now I meet, uh, oh yeah, I meet him. Mm. It, it's not, it, this didn't happen the first time. Mm. So I meet him and he says, Tandy, there's, there's, a, there's a couple that would like to, 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 to meet you. Mm -hmm. This is a white couple. And I yes. said, oh, how did it happen? And he says, I was whistling yeah. a song yes. past the, where they stay yes. in Clermont. Uh -huh. And he says, the man came out and says, uh, why are you whistling a church song? Yeah. And then he gave a testimony. And then he said, you know, and he asked, who, yes. who, who led you to Christ? Yes, yes. And he said, this young lady, wow. she's not here. The way God organizes things. Yeah. And then this man said, yeah. okay, when she comes back, whenever she comes yes. back in Cape Town, we would like to meet, we would like to meet her. Yes. Anyway, the, to cut the long story short, I come back, I meet them, and then they said, oh, they asked, you know, how I was born again and all that. Mm -hmm. And then they said, oh, don't you want to go to Bible school? 
I said, I thought about it, but you know, I don't have money. Mm. I can't go. Mm. And then to cut the long story short, they paid for my Bible Hallelujah. school. Hallelujah. Wow. Yes. Did you I hear how God there. puts things together? <laughs> yeah. Just from a whistle. Yes. Just from a whistle. It's amazing. His ways are not like our yeah. ways. His thoughts are far exactly. apart from us, like the earth is from the heavens. Exactly. My goodness. Yeah. Yes. And then from Bible school, yes. I asked the Lord, Lord, I don't just want to go back to Cape Town mm -hmm. because I'm staying in Cape Town. Where do you want me to go? Yes. And uh, in the bus, going back to Cape Town, yes. there is a, a tribe there we call Bakas. Mm -hmm. They speak like Swazi people. Mm -hmm. they, when they pronounce the T, mm -hmm. the T's, mm -hmm. they, 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 they pronounce the, the, the T's similar mm -hmm. to, to the, the people Swazi. in Swaziland. Mm -hmm. So now, I mean, usually those people are not in that area, mm -hmm. with like, you know, Transkai, between Transkai and Cape Town. Mm -hmm. They would, you would find them at least maybe from Amtata to Deben, mm -hmm. not in, in my mm -hmm. road. Yes. So now in the bus, mm -hmm. I hear these people yes. speaking. Mm -hmm. How? They are speaking like Swazis because we used to go to Swazis. Mm -hmm. our, our one branch mm -hmm. was in Swaziland. Yes. And now they are speaking Swazis. And then I said, Lord, they are speaking Swazi. And God is saying to me, oh, prior to that, mm. now, during my time and time now in Bible school, yes. I'm asking the Lord, Lord, I don't want to just, I don't, I don't just want to go to Cape Town. Yes. Show me where I am. Yes. And I you hear so the smart. matron. I never used to ask such questions. I, yes. I, I, I hear the matron yeah. praying uh -huh. in her room. Uh -huh. It was like in the morning about tennis. Yeah. She's praying in her room. Yes. And it was like I knew that she has a message for me. Because one thing I know, the mm. Lord has given me yes. a, a, a gift of a word of knowledge. Yes. It's, a, it's like I will know something. Yes. And... Uh, a designing spirit, <clears throat> yes. Yes. Yeah. And uh, after that, mm. it's like I'm sitting in the room, waiting. Mm -hmm. She comes mm -hmm. down the passage yes. and comes open, still awash with tears. And she says, to, I never said anything yes. to her. She says to me, Tandy, the Lord is telling me mm. to tell you that you must go to Swaziland. Ah, yeah. <laughs> the small country. And I'm saying, yes. And anyway, now I'm in the bus going back to Cape Town. Yes. These people are speaking yes. exactly like the Swazi people. Yes. And the Lord is saying to me, this is a confirmation wow. that you must go to Swaziland. Anyway, I come to Cape Town and then after that, uh, I went. I went and again during that time, yes. that pastor now in Swaziland, mm -hmm. and this pastor, it happened that he was present that Sunday when the Lord called me, mm -hmm. when the Lord confirmed mm -hmm. to that pastor, lady yeah. yes. that, you know, mm. the, the Lord is talking to me about that respected wow. lady. Oh, yes. She must go, you know, go, God is calling her. Yeah. God is calling her to minister. Yes. And of course, then I will hear that. Mm he passed away oh. and then now during that time mm. the whole church is going to his funeral this was now in 1989 1989 and then um yeah i go and now at that time mm. my son went to a minister he came actually he came to cape town mm. before it was the time that i was i was in ministry already yes but it happened that I was in Cape Town, mm -hmm. and he was. And at that time, mm -hmm. because my son, my son stayed with the father in yes. East London. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, sometimes I wouldn't know what is happening. Oh, him. now he got involved at some point. The father. No, yeah. the father. Yeah. The father actually used to, used to go to my mother. Oh, okay, yes, in That's the village, yeah. and then yes. he would, yeah. yeah. Like Excellent. sometimes take yeah, him, yeah. you know, that was also yeah. the provision yes, of God. Of course, yeah. Yes. Mm. And um, now he come and I pray uh, because I sort of heard that it's like his life is not okay. Mm. And I pray, I said, Lord, please, uh, I would like him to come mm -hmm. here in Cape Town. Well, solely, again, mainly again, for him to be born again. Mm -hmm. Anyway, he comes there and he has a dream. In the dream, it's like people were chasing him. It's like he died, but it's like his spirit. People were chasing his spirit. Mm -hmm. He woke up so scared and he yeah. said, when is the church starting today? 
Wow. He went to church, accepted, accepted wow. Christ, Hallelujah. and that was it. Hallelujah. And uh, yeah, and yeah. So you go for that, this funeral, and your son. Yes. Is, yeah, now is going to this funeral. Yeah. Now my mm. son already. Mm. He came from church one day. Mm. He was rolling on the floor. He was rolling, crying on the floor in mm -hmm. the same place. Mm. And I said, "What?" And he says, "The Lord is calling me." And he wanted to 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 to, to, to work mm. because this lady now is forcing him to work. He says, "You must work. Your mother, you must help. You must work so that you help your mother." Mm. Because one day this lady wanted me to bring money yeah even yeah. though i wasn't working of but course, she wanted yeah. me to bring money mm -hmm. you know to eat and, and yeah. stuff like that Religion, but you know yeah. the lord provided mm. and now during this time that you know he is pressurized now to go to work mm. you know he hears of this minister that was in pretoria mm -hmm. he goes to that ministry within a week that he was there he tells me that you are here we pray and god answers prayers hallelujah i say he says we live by faith. Amen. Everybody, every nationality Amen. was there. Yes. We live by faith. We only pray to Prayer. God and God provides. Yes. It's something that is life we're experiencing. Hallelujah. Okay. Anyway, I go to Swaziland mm. and now knowing that I'm just going to be there. Mm. I had no desire to be anything mm. but just to be there. Whatever the God, Lord yeah, wants, yeah. just to serve God. Yes. And it happened that mm. uh, one of the young pastors was the one who was appointed mm. so his wife didn't know me mm. and uh, then i was there so he was still working at that time yes. so when he comes back now people are telling him that oh we are so blessed here with sister tandy mm. i think the wife didn't like it yeah. so it was back to persecution for me and now to the point that i was just told to, to go out imagine yes and then I went to another section there and the Lord said to me just stay in this house mm -hmm. then I'm going to bring people yes so the, the Lord used to bring ladies there and wow. we would pray yes I mean lots of ladies I remember mm -hmm. this one lady mm -hmm. in particular mm -hmm. her husband used to drink a lot mm -hmm. a lot mm -hmm. and uh, through her coming to these prayers mm -hmm. and of course sharing the word yes. uh, because at that time the lord had laid the the, the, the message of the cross in my heart for me in six mm -hmm. you know yes. and i was sharing with them mm. uh, yeah that you know in everything you do mm. your heart you must guard your heart amen your amen. heart your heart in everything yes, Very yes. Important. and uh, yes oh. and amazingly after some time mm. that man got sick and the husband i mean the husband was was just treating her as as nothing rubbish, yeah. rubbish. Mm. he was working at the railway but he wouldn't give that lady any money Imagine. he would say you brought these children you're thinking oh. that you know i'm going to mm -hmm, feed these mm -hmm. children i yeah. mean yes and then anyway mm. And that man was radically born again before he passed hey? away. And then he used to say to the wife, you will never even get a cent from me. Yes. He will go and drink and come yelling at the wife. You know, oh, come, 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 come and listen to a wife who says she, she talks to God. <laughs> come. And the whole night he will be making that he noise. Knows, yes. And now he's he used to, every day he used to tell her, you will never even get a cent from me. Yes. Now that time that he was sick, he woke up one one night and he said to the wife come i want to write a will i mm. want you to put you in my will mm. so that you get all my money Imagine. wow they went god so that the was, god will serve is true and yes. that's where the scripture of uh, everything happens for good exactly those who love god and are good according to his purpose exactly. because now her perseverance now it's yes this year. yes and his death of course brings her yes yeah yeah so and again mm -hmm. i from there i went to join that ministry mm -hmm. where my my son was yes because again this voice told me mm -hmm. that there is somewhere where mm -hmm. i want you to go yes and then i didn't know so with me I'm, i was just visiting my son mm -hmm. where they were this mm -hmm. place is called limpopo oh, yes. no, no limpopo now they had moved from pretoria yes. yes. they are in limpopo mm -hmm. So they were just living in tents. Mm -hmm. So I come there. My mm -hmm. son wasn't there. He was in Pretoria. The first night, 
when I slept, I, they made me sleep in his tent because mm. at that time he wasn't married. He was mm. just yeah. engaged. Yeah. And um, the voice says to me, this road you are going to be going, taking now, mm. you have never traveled this road before. Like when God spoke to the Israelites mm -hmm. when they were crossing mm -hmm. the river the Jordan, yeah, the river that, Jordan. you know, yes, yes, yeah. The, yeah, there must be a distance between mm -hmm. the priest and mm -hmm. the people because mm -hmm. this road you've never traveled before. before. Yes. So the Lord is saying to me, you've never traveled this road mm -hmm. before. You've got to unlearn all this knowledge from Bible wow, school. Wow, wow, now wow. you are hey. in the school of the Holy Spirit. Yes. And I'm thinking, Lord, how am I going to unlearn all hey. this? Yes. But... In short, God did it. Now, the following day, Amen. my son and this other, my son now is a leader here mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with another um, young man. Yes. So they come, both of them were not there. They come now on Friday. Mm -hmm. I arrived there on Thursday. Mm -hmm. On Friday, they come back from, from Pretoria and we had, they had a praise and worship service. So the, 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 the first song that was sung, mm -hmm. this other, a leader yeah, yeah. comes to me and he repeats exactly the same words that the Lord told me the previous night. My You've goodness. never traveled this road Lord. before. You are now in the school of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I mean, mm. I was shocked. I literally just went down. I know. I know how it feels. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So now I was there. Yeah. And uh, there now, it was a place where it was about character. Yes. It was about character and the heart. Yes. The heart and character. Yes. In everything you are doing. Yes. So anyway, yeah, and from there mm. again it I was only there two months. Mm -hmm. And now we were we were taught now how to pray mm. hearing God's heart. Wow. And I'm thinking, oh Lord, and everything that they were they were doing there, mm. it, it was like I was hungry. Yes. I was hungry for everything. Freedom, freedom, so I couldn't yeah. manage to, to know what how to feel God's heart when yes. I'm praying yes. on my own. Yes. So it was better if maybe the, we were like being taught corporate prayers yes. there. And I didn't understand. Look, two months, after two months, the Lord says to me, it is my will for you to go back to Cape Town. Not everybody is going to understand this message, but seek me, I will be with you. Hallelujah. I was shattered because I thought God is unfair to me yeah. because these people were there for the whole year. Mm. You know, I mean, <laughs> uh, learning how yes. to, 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 to find mm -hmm. God's heart in mm -hmm. prayer. Mm -hmm. And now it's like the Lord is letting me go back and there's nobody in Cape Town who's, go, who's going to pray with me. Anyway, yes. to cut the long story short, I went back to Cape Town and back to my church mm -hmm. where my pastor didn't understand what I'm yes. doing. Yes. I'm going back there mm. for two years. The Lord, I was under a heavy training. The Lord was teaching me love. Amen. Even to love Amen. the pastor, yes. even to regardless. love the people. He told people me you love, you, you love as is where is. Not hoping that they'll change. You just love them nevertheless. Yes. Love is the excellent way. Yes. Wow. And then when mm. that time was 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 done, mm -hmm. and then the Lord just um, from there now, oh, the Lord mm. took me again back to Swaziland. Yes. Yes. And now I was just uh, as the Lord was leading me. Yes. And people and pastors wanted me to join their churches, yes. and I said. God hasn't it's told really me hard, to join yeah. any church. Mm, mm. I mean, I will just go mm, as, as the Lord is leading me. Yes. So this is what I did yeah. until in 1994. Yes. I only went to, I, I felt my time is, mm. is up, but mm. I went to visit my son who yes. was now yes. married and living in Durban. Yes. And then I went to visit them. And then the Lord opened the door and now amongst the Indian people mm -hmm. there. Mm. Yes. So they, they, they are also people that were mm. that came to be with me at that time yes. and listening to my message. Yes. And then in 1996, he was shot. And yeah. the day he was shot, that Saturday, okay. I was in Deb, I, I, I was in Cape Town uh, attending my pastor's funeral. 
yeah so i was there and i came back and again i didn't have money because i was living by faith yes, yeah. i managed to get money that takes me to mm, cape town mm. and now there's no money when i hear this actually my daughter-in-law phoned me mm. at night on saturday night mm. he said the serial passed away she i was, need he died you. on the spot he died after two hours oh dear after two hours apparently he witnessed some people because he was doing part-time part-time job at yes. that time yes he witnessed some people that were that came to steal mm -hmm. he was after work he was there mm. sorting out some things mm -hmm. and then he witnessed these people and these guys said we will follow you oh, but dear. anyway yeah so oh, that was so he, at that time he had four children Imagine. three boys mm. and one girl mm. and the youngest was two years mm -hmm. old but now the youngest one mm. got married about two years ago. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, so mm. it was like now, it was my duty mm. that I mm. need to bring these yeah, children up. Yeah, for them. Yeah. Yes. Mm. So from there, and we, we, I was in Durban. After he passed away now, because we couldn't even pay rent, mm. or, you know, where mm. they stayed. Mm. Then I prayed again, God, where do you want us to go? And then the Lord again said, Swaziland. So I thought we were going to stay there, mm. have a mm. house there. Mm. But we were moving from one place yeah. to yes. another. Yeah. And it was like people were looking at us, you are called by God now, mm. you know. How what? come you are not yes. stable? How come you are not settled? Yes. Yeah. Yes, but little did we know that you know God it was it wasn't God's plan for mm. us to, to be there. Mm. Anyway, from they, they there, away those birds. Maybe they can eat or or Lillian, for example. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And then from there mm. now, I pray. Oh, I visited Cape Town. I was mm. excited there in Cape mm. Town, and Cape Town was the last place I wanted to go to. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to carry the crosses of Cape Town. Mm. I was persecuted enough, so lots of other stories, mm -hmm. and. Uh, and now in Cape Town, I feel this excitement of being in Cape Town. Mm. I only visited there. And then I phoned my daughter-in-law. I said, man, I've got this excitement in me about Cape Town. Mm. It's like, if we can move here. And she says she was at home at that time. And she says to me, people were asking me yesterday, where are you going to be next day? And we never spoke anything mm. about, you know, where we yeah. are going to be. Yes. And she says, I told the people here that we're going to be in Cape Town. That was a confirmation. I came back, wow. took the smaller children, went back to Cape Town. And again, the Lord opened the door there yes. uh, in a children's home. Yes. Again, it was another story. When I came there, yes. um, I, I only went there just to, to ask for a room mm -hmm. to pray. Mm -hmm. And then that's when the Lord led me to the book of Ezra, um, saying in the first year of mm -hmm. uh, of of Cyrus, mm -hmm. the king of mm -hmm. Persia. Mm -hmm. Yes, maybe mm -hmm. we can read that. Yeah, we should read that. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the king, the, the Lord stirred mm -hmm. Cyrus, mm -hmm. the king of Persia, mm -hmm. uh, to, to, to give the, the, the children of Israel mm -hmm. uh, 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 utensils or that stuff. That is the, the book of Ezra, chapter, chapter 1. one. Mm -hmm. Yes, just, I just want mm -hmm. to read it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It says, now in the first day of Cyrus, king of Persia, mm. that the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled. Mm. The Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia, so that he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom mm. and also put it in writing, saying, mm. thus says Cyrus, king of Persia, all the kingdoms of the earth the lord god of heaven has given me mm. and he has commanded me to build him a house at jerusalem which is in judah mm. yes so just but this just there in verse one where it says the lord stirred up the spirit of cyrus king of persia mm. i closed my bible yes. because the lord had told me yeah. to to fast for three days yes. so the first day he says i must read the book of yes. Ezra. And I, I was stuck there. I knew that, you know, there's a message here. Lord, what are you saying? And the Lord says to me, mm -hmm. because at that time I was panicking. Mm -hmm. I wasn't supposed to be there. Mm -hmm. I had only asked for a room yes. where I could pray. Yes. And I was again with my younger children. Yeah. And sometimes I would regret, why did I bring these yes, children? Yeah. You know, because now if I was alone, I was going to go there and there yes, and there. Yeah. And now people mm -hmm. are, you know, saying lots mm -hmm. of things mm -hmm. here. And... Um, yeah, so the Lord 
said to me, mm -hmm. I can stir the heart of the project manager Hallelujah. here to give you a place to yes. stay. Hallelujah. To cut the long story short, yes. the following week, the project manager is calling me. He even brought a, a, a chauffeur to come and wow. pick me up. Wow. When I came to his office, and mm. of course, he did Now this that's was, from your room to come to, to his office. Yes. Yes. From my room mm. to come to. Um, the administration place. Yes. Wherever he talks about yes. Yeah. yeah. And now when I come there, and mm. this was somebody we, we we used to look at him, I find we used to be scared of him mm. because he was this tall mm. guy and mm. harsh. We knew yes. that he was no nonsense, yes. you yeah. know, guy. Yes. And now he, when I come there, he ushers me in, mm -hmm. and he even pulls a chair for me to wow. sit on. Forever. And then I'm thinking, yes. Lord, what is this? Forever. That is forever. Yeah. And then he says to me, yeah. and all the time that I was in this room, I used to go and clean, mm -hmm. because with me serving is part of me. Hallelujah. And uh, I used to go and help in the yes. kitchen. I used to sweep. And the, the, the lady in the kitchen used to notice this and report to the project manager. Uh -huh. And another thing that I forgot here, yes. while I was in the while I was there, yes. there was a lady who was working in the kitchen. Yes. And every morning when I go to get breakfast, mm -hmm. I will share what the Lord said to me in my quiet time. Okay. Not knowing that I'm preaching to her. Wow. And you know, sometimes you know problems that she had, she was born again. Not again you know the problems that she will just listen to me yes. and I, I used to watch it she used to be so excited when mm -hmm. i come there mm -hmm. tandy what is that and every day i was like solving her problems Amen. from my quiet Amen. time yes and now she was reporting God's this to the to always. the project manager yes. yes and now the project manager the, the ceo actually told this project manager mm. who's calling me now mm. And now he says, Tandi, we want to employ you. Wow. And now that was in September, October. Yes. And now Flora now mm. was going to come back with the other two children. Mm -hmm. Oh, Flora is your son's My daughter-in-law. And now mm. I was even thinking, mm. how am I going to accommodate them? Mm. Because now... Mm. After I was employed, war broke out again, oh, persecution. persecution again. The people, they just didn't want ah, me there. It's not an they, easy way. They the, did not the want... The stretched us, but God stayed with us. They he says did he never not us. want... They wanted me out. Oh, yes. And I was saying, Lord, I don't know. But anyway, there are lots of things that I'm omitting yeah, here yeah. that also were a huge testimony oh, during yeah. that time. Yes. But the Lord, you know, stood mm -hmm. by me yes. and he was, Amen. because all of those people left. I was the only one Hallelujah. that was left. He says he and never forsake you, not leave you. Yeah. Yes. And even, you know, I had a cottage mm -hmm. where now yes. my daughter-in-law and the children are staying. Wow. Even though it's not a big place yeah. and it's small very very small cottage and yet again in this small cottage i used to take children from these different places and really? some of them used to sleep in the wow. in the in the in the in the lounge yes because i've also got this ministry to the broken hearted yes, yes. so many of them have got jobs now many of them are married yeah so now i was employed i yes. tell you i got out of that office you know so excited, excited. Yeah. and he even said he's going to tell the the chauffeur to take me back to langa i said no uh, i want to to walk i walk because it's it was like i couldn't contain the joy i can imagine yes yeah suddenly now you have come yes. job. so now mm. there mm. again i wasn't thinking of anything mm. one pastor who who they, there was a pastor we used to fellowship mm -hmm. there in that children's home mm -hmm. he, he yeah he had his services yes. there and then one day he asked me to come and share mm -hmm. he was going away and he wanted me to come on that thursday through my sharing on that thursday mm -hmm. one lady who was there a young lady she asked me where do you stay i said i stay here and now another minister started there youth came mm -hmm. and then i was sharing you know with them some of them are still with me and some of some mm -hmm. of them you know are, are old but yes yes, yes. That, that, your testimony is, is just marvelous sister Tan. you know in in many churches today we are told that uh, god loves us extremely 
that he does not want us to suffer. And uh, the way they put it is like uh, God wants us to own the th worldly things. He wants mm. us to have big cars. He wants us to have big churches. He wants mm. us to have large homes. Mm. All this time you've spoken to me, I'm hearing every time the Lord sends you to a place to minister, mm. he's not giving you a big car to drive. No. He's not giving even money. And I used to, to hike sometimes. Yes. Most of the times. Yes. I remember my 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 grandson yes. was sick. Yes. When my when my son stayed in, in Peter Maritzburg somewhere. Yeah. And then Flores told me that, mm. you know, Shama is sick. Yes. So I prayed. And then the Lord said to me, I must hike. Imagine. And I went with a friend. Yes. Not actually even the Lord wanted to break both of us while we are hiking yes because sometimes i would be upset with her yes and then we would i would leave her <laughs> and then i will come back again with thought as i said you know about the yes. heart Hallelujah. because people go to church they, yeah. they can be angry with one another yes. they can be angry with their wives but you know they carry on preaching yes but this Pretending is about that all is the well. heart yes the heart must be clean before amen. god in everything yeah. otherwise that service amen it's like wow. you know that works that the Lord says, you know, in, in Corinthians chapter yes. 3, that works, uh, they're going to burn. Definitely, because scripture tells us that uh, when you have trouble with your, uh, your brother, you must not yes. even uh, give your gift. You, you leave your gift at the altar and God exactly. sort it out first. Exactly. So now you are telling me that, uh, and you know, you, God is using you greatly, mm. but he's not giving you bags of money. He's not giving no. you a big car. He's not giving you a big no. house. So and now looking at today's gospel in many places, I don't know if that time that was common. Mm. I came to the Lord quite late in life in 2008. Mm. Uh, but I know that, especially here in Kenya, I don't know about South Africa, mm. but I know that here in Kenya, there are many uh, preachers who preach prosperity gospel. Yes. And many it is all people, over. the vast majority of Christians actually enjoy that teaching. Mm. Whilst me, for sure, I know that when God is using you, when God wants to even raise you, he, he strips you of everything first. Mm. You have to start from ground zero. Mm. I've gone through that myself. Mm. So what would you say, have, have you noticed that and how does it, uh, I mean, how, how do you feel about that? Because I believe that many people are getting lost through this prosperity gospel and mm. they're taking shortcuts and that's why the works of God are not manifesting greatly as it should be because mm. not many uh, uh, servants, mm. not many that are called are doing the real work you know they are not following god's voice mm. they are doing their own thing in the place yeah uh, sister Ada, this is about total surrender to god amen hallelujah it, totally your, your life mm. is totally sold out to god amen. he does what he wants to do amen. with you amen not about money, money. not about uh, material things no. but to do the perfect will of God. Hallelujah. And now Not what, just the permissive will, the perfect, perfect will, will of God. God. And now, what is your benefit? Well, Someone would ask. Well, my benefit, you know, I mean, doing the work of the Father yes. is what pleases me. Hallelujah. And it's what pleases God. Yes. So yes. you are at peace with it. Yes. You can say you are content. Yes. Oh my There's goodness. There's a scripture that says, yes. the Father loves the Son because he lays down his life yes. for his friends. Hallelujah. Wherever I go, yes. um, the Lord just wants me to serve. Yes. Not for gain, not for anything. I must guard my heart in that. Hallelujah. So you yeah. feel fulfilled. I feel fulfilled. You don't feel like, oh God, I've served you so much. I've moved mountains in your name and you've helped me do it. Now I deserve payment. I deserve a big car. I deserve these worldly things. No, no. <laughs> if he wants to, mm. he does that. Yes. Because now, if I tell you, yes. now from this money, and yes. again now, uh, there's n no church that is paying me. No. The Lord will just say to me, go there. Yes. Uh, and he, the Lord told me clearly yes. Yes. that you are not going to preach to, 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 to crowds. Yes. I will send you sometimes just to go to one Hallelujah. person at a time. Hallelujah. So mm. I lived that mm. life. Mm. So, and then, um, of course, I will go wherever. Like now, uh, the Lord led me, like now where I am, mm. I'm sort of out of Cape Town. Mm -hmm. And during this time, we were also praying for a, for a place to stay. Mm -hmm. I don't have money. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I used to cry sometimes to God and say, Lord, these children won't, won't have a want to know mm. that you are a big God. Mm. You know, we don't have a place to mm. stay. Mm. But the Lord will won't even listen to that. Yes. And then 
one day a friend of mine uh, asked me to accompany her to another part uh, in, in South Africa that is called Port, Af Port Alfred. Mm -hmm. And then in Port Alfred, she was going, she used to do missionary work in India. Mm -hmm. So now she felt she was no longer going to go back and she wanted a place mm -hmm. to rent. Mm -hmm. So she wanted to go to Port Alfred mm -hmm. because a brother used to stay there. Mm -hmm. So she says, Tandy, let's go. And then I go with her. Mm -hmm. And after three days mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. the Lord says to me, there's a place I want you to go to mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, Lord, I was praying for the, for a place in Cape Town. Mm -hmm. I'm in a big city yes. where the lights are bright, mm -hmm. everything. Yes. And transport, everything mm -hmm. is there. Mm -hmm. And now I'm looking, I'm thinking, oh Lord, around here it's farms, it's bushes. But to cut the long story short, mm. the Lord led me to this particular farm. Mm -hmm. I yes. wouldn't have known that yeah. place at all. Yes. So now we, we, we went back to Cape Town mm -hmm. and then when she got the place, we came back again. Mm -hmm. And then now it was like this voice is even stronger. There is this place I want you to go to. Mm. So again, I will omit lots of things because at that time yes. my brother was sick and mm. all that. And then uh, I was house sitting just mm. for the weekend. Mm. And now during that time that now I'm house sitting, mm. there was a family that um, the, their mother, mm. their mother had, had had a stroke. Mm -hmm. And then the nurse that used to take care of the mother, mm was sick mm -hmm. so they wanted some their eldest daughter was getting married mm -hmm. so they needed somebody to take care of granny mm -hmm. so again you can see now when they when that word says all things work together for good, good yes. you remember that mm -hmm. now with mm -hmm. nursing mm -hmm. i had to work you know with nursing services yes. taking care of people in their homes yes, yes. so i gained that knowledge experience. and now yeah uh, so another couple phoned me Yes. who knew me Th yes. that couple didn't know me yes so now they are telling this one um we were looking for somebody so janet cave brown phones me yes. and says tandy there's this couple who are looking for someone yes. just to take care of granny for the weekend yes and i said okay tell them to phone me tomorrow morning mm -hmm. because i need to pray mm -hmm. about it and then of course i felt peace yes and then the husband comes to fetch me. Mm -hmm. The minute I walk over the threshold in that house, this voice, I'd clean forgotten about the voice. Mm -hmm. This voice says to me, this is where I want you to be. Hallelujah. And now I was just awash with tears. Amen. Anyway, I took care of granny mm -hmm. in, in short. Mm -hmm. And then on Sunday, again, when, when, when she takes, when the wife takes me back to mm -hmm. where I, uh, I was, mm -hmm. When I crossed over the threshold, again, this voice says, you are coming back. Wow. And it's like I'm saying, to you, because I knew that, mm. you know, she had a nurse. Mm. Anyway, I go back to Cape Town. Mm -hmm. I nurse my, my, my eldest brother who was sick at that time. He passes away in my arms. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, after two months, so the wife at that place, mm -hmm. she phones me. Wow. and says tandy can you come and help us Imagine. and uh, i said okay i will come because i knew i was expecting that phone call all the time yes. so can you see the lord doesn't with me it will be go to preach and yes. you know that and when i came there mm. the lord said it, this was a farm the lord said to me tandy i want you to serve them Amen. You must be a farmer. Yes. You must be a maid. Yes. You must be a nurse. Yes. You must be a preacher. Yes. You must be a, 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 an intercessor. Mm -hmm. Just everything. So I was. There. So what used to happen there? Every morning, I used to go and pray, and every morning when we are having breakfast, well, of course the husband used to go early mm -hmm. to go and work in the farms. Mm -hmm. It will be myself, Granny and the the, the 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 farmer's wife yes. so and every morning i would share what god said to me yes. every morning yes and after a month we were having breakfast on 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 saturday yes she says to, she says to all of us sit, sit at a, a, a table yes. plus the husband was yes. there she says can we pray after after breakfast yes, yes. and i'm thinking to myself you know they didn't usually pray yeah this is a must anyway i go to wash the dishes mm. and the husband goes to call me 
when I come to the lounge, when I look at Sue, her face is red, she's crying. Mm. And I'm sitting there, I wonder what's wrong. Mm. And she says, I mean, after some time, mm -hmm. Tandy, mm. since you came here, every time you tell me that the Lord said this and the Lord said this, she said, I don't know that. I accepted Jesus, yes, at university. And mm. after that, I came here mm. to get married. Mm -hmm. So I, I never heard that God can speak to mm -hmm. people. So can you pray for me mm. so that I can understand God the mm. way you do? Mm -hmm. I was so humbled. Yeah. I wow. prayed for her mm. till this day. Mm. She is seeking. She is on fire for the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. So, mm. and now, yeah, so... And again, mm -hmm. coupled with that, mm -hmm. it was like in my heart, I knew because I'd been, we've been praying mm -hmm. for a place to mm -hmm. stay. Coupled with that now, mm -hmm. I knew it's also about a place to stay. Yes. So to cut the long story short, mm -hmm. I was given a place mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. even though I was hoping mm -hmm. to get my own place. Yes. Because this ministry to the broken hearted, yes, yes. it's something that is there yeah. that needs one mm -hmm. to have their definitely, own place. Yeah, so now they say they are giving. Mm -hmm. I think uh, in hindsight, mm -hmm. well, the, well, God knows everything. Mm -hmm. They, they didn't want me to be away there. Mm -hmm. yes. So he gave me this house. Anyway, mm -hmm. I went to stay there. But all the time I was praying, mm -hmm. they said, no, we are not giving to you to own. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it was sort of like, uh, yeah. yeah. But Condi even conditional, yeah. Yes, yeah. conditional. Because mm -hmm. now I'm not free to mm -hmm. do what, what the want Lord do, wants me to, to do. do. Yes. But anyway, mm -hmm. I'm still there. The Lord is, is doing a, a lot, is, uh, you know, also there. Yes, so as I, I say, mean, I've omitted lots of things, I know, but, but we, I do know up, yeah. that yeah. I am really serving my, I'm, 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 I'm really serving my purpose. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Because really it's important yes. that, you know, no matter where one is, whether yes. they are businessmen or whatever, yeah. but to know mm. the purpose of God Hallelujah. so that whatever one is doing, yes. they know that they are doing it as unto the Lord. Hallelujah and amen. Yeah. So you are living, Sister Tandy. And you know, one thing I've noticed about your journey is that all the time the Lord sent you. Yes. And wherever he sent you, he provided, obviously. That's why you, are, yes. you didn't, uh, you know, starve to death. Yes. And he not only provided, but he manifested. Yes. Because you brought souls to, to God and you still do. Mm. And that is indeed just wonderful how Sister Tandy speaks. And so Sister Tandy is going to be with us here at Adornment for hopefully forever. <laughs> and uh, so we are going, uh, soon we'll be starting a, a, a program the Lord has given us, Adorned. It's, uh, it's titled Adorned. And uh, Sister Tandy will be answering even more questions from, from, from uh, the viewers. And she'll be sharing more and more of her life journey. We'll mm. have another sister also. Mm. And so God is doing a new thing. I know so Sister Tandy and I know he's working very quickly. Mm -hmm. And I just yeah. believe that he has, the reward that he has for you is big. Because you see... What I've discovered about her is that she's very obedient. Every time the Lord has mm. sent her, she's gone. That's why she's even here today with us. Mm. Because she has obeyed to come to Kenya. And here she is. And I'm truly, truly humbled to, to, to host her here. This is God's sanctuary, of course. Nothing belongs to us, really. And uh, yeah, so he's, he's, uh, he, she's going to serve here for some time. She's going to serve the Lord from here for some time. So you'll be seeing her. She's, not going, to, she's going to be a common face on uh, our YouTube channel. And uh, now, and also what I'd like to bring out to the viewers, you know, when, when, uh, when, when you see a woman of God or a man of God serving tirelessly like that, you should be, you know, people like to, to, to tend to, to want uh, rewards from what they, they give. Mm -hmm. And many people, instead of giving to the, those who, who really uh, deserve, so to say, they w want to sow seed, where they are told, sow seed and you'll get what you want. Mm -hmm. There's a time the Lord gave me a message and he said that, uh, and he broke me down with that message. He said, he, his, uh, his servants, his two servants are starving. They lack even bread. Yet his people who, 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 who purport to be Christians keep sowing into the fake preachers, keep sowing into those prosperity gospel teachers and so on. When you have someone like this one serving the Lord all the time, when God, because God uh, convicts us, God will ask you to give, to, to give, and then people want tend to want uh, something in return. No, when you when you give uh, uh, God's servant, especially a true one like her, 
you, you are in, God is indebted to you and he will bless you in his own way. So, uh, fellow brethren, you should be learn to be quick to give, to give to those that really are sent by God and uh, you just never know. I, I've seen a number of people come up and just give us without even wanting to reveal their identity and we are so humbled for that, we really thank God for that because then his work goes ahead, God's work continues. So it was my joy coming to you from Adornment uh, Ministries. I'm so delighted. Sister Tand will still be here. Soon we shall start the Adornment uh, 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 sorry, program. And also, we'll again interview her. And so if you want to reach out to Sister Tandy, you can do so. She, she can give her telephone number if she wants. But for some mm. time, I, I haven't found a telephone number. I haven't even bought her SIM card for Kenya as of now. But mm. you can also reach her through Adornment. Ministries, mm. we, we you know our number, and we shall put it there on this. Uh, our producer is here with us, so she'll put her number there. So, yes, we are here to serve. Thank you so much for watching, Mr. Tandy. Amen. Yeah, amen. amen.